Oh yeah, I went to Not Scary Farm's employee preview last night, and oh, you're gonna want to hear this. Now heads up right now, if you want zero spoilers, a click off right now, I will not reveal a lot, because I don't want to spoil the 50th, but what I saw and what I experienced, dude, this year's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about the lamp, how it works, uh, experiment with it a little bit. We're also gonna talk about the two new mazes. I did go on them, it didn't go on Chilling Chambers, but was able to go on Slasher and the 13th door. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is the gauntlet and storyline. You don't wanna know any of this, click off the video right now, that's your warning. So let's talk about the lamp and how it works within the scare zones and the mazes. A little rundown, the lamp is $39.99. Uh, this right here is the interactive color. This will interact with stuff around in the scare zones. You have to look for them and within the mazes. Now, you have all the colors. You have green, you have red, you have blue. And then you have like a different kind of green with a different like a timing of blinking. So if you're looking to interact within the mazes or the scare zones to see where stuff is, you're gonna to wanna to keep it on white. I did have the privilege of talking to the marketing individuals that did create this. Thank you very much for stopping by and talking to me. And they let me know a little bit on how the technology on this works. This is actually the same technology that you will find at that little gun range, you know, uh, when you shoot the pew, 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 I don't know, what would you call that? Go ahead and comment down below, let me know what would you call that. Or kind of like the laser thing in the Boysenberry ride. Actually, what's the name of that ride too? Well, go ahead and comment down below what the name of that one is too, I'm kind of drawing a blank. But outside of that, if you want to interact with the mazes and stuff, did walk through a couple of mazes actually walked through Origins and in some rooms stuff did pop off because of this. Uh, now let's talk about the other colors. Now the other colors are gonna be for the scare zone. Green, you're gonna wanna have green when you're going through Ghost Town and when you're going through the Goring 20s. Now these colors actually draw in some of the monsters and they're more interactive with you with this. Now, I did play in Carnival with the red. One clown came up to me and was like, what's that? And I was like, this is a lamp. No, 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 what makes the lamp light up? And I was like, a hundred lightning bugs that are stuck in there and one dies every second. And that clown gave me looks like, murderer! This guy's a murderer, bug killer! And that's funny. And we'll talk about how to have fun if you really don't get scared in this video also. Now blue, you're gonna to wanna to use blue when you're walking through uh, Forsaken Lake, right? And then you have green also, Goring 20s, and uh, uh, Ghost Towns. So this is the lamp. If you wanna check this out, it's pretty cool. Um, in Carnival, there's some areas where you can interact with it. It wasn't working when I did go. So now let's talk about the two new mazes. I'm not gonna go into a lot of what is in the mazes. Uh, I, I'm gonna say they were awesome. Now the slasher plays more on a classic, and this is what I love because when I was waiting in line, I, I, I had my fingers crossed, I was like, bro, please, please have this maze really be an homage to classic. I mean, classic, I'm talking about like 90s, you know, uh, 80s uh, mazes. I mean, their mazes back in the day is way different than today. And there was a couple of certain things that past mazes back in the day have done that new mazes don't. And I was hoping for it to be in this maze, and they were. There's multiple of them, bro. And let me tell you, it, it, it set design, amazing. Uh, there's some smells that go on in there. Uh, and these mazes are packed, bro. Uh, past Not Scary Farms, when you did go through mazes, sometimes there was uh, lacking in some corners. No, 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 no. I mean, there was like four or five some in, in rooms. So what I'm hoping this year is, because it's the 50th, that we will see more scare actors because, I mean, you, we were getting hit left and right, it was great. Uh, the storyline of the slasher is great. And the layout, let me tell you, the layout of the slasher and the 13th 
floor or door, 13th floor, door? Go ahead, comment down below. Let me know if it's floor or door. But anyways, both those mazes are in small confinement, right? I mean, the 13th door is actually in the small back area of the arcade. That maze seemed like it went forever. And the dark ride, which was the maze prior to the slasher, this, I, I mean, I don't know how they made it this long. It kept going on forever. But uh, the 13th door, or floor, go ahead, comment down below. That set design was amazing, dude. I loved it. When you guys go through these, uh, it's so detailed. So really take your time and look around. I mean, it, it, it blew my mind. Slasher blew my mind. I can only imagine when the 50th maze, Chambers, opens up tomorrow. And uh, now we're going to talk about, before we talk about the gauntlet, let's talk about how to get scared if you don't really get scared. So what I, what I did last night when I was going through mazes, you'd have scare actors, you know, sitting down on the floor and they're like, oh no, he's going to kill me. Now most individuals, you know, uh, walk by and they just look and they look at the set design and they go. What I like to do is I like to interact with them. If you actually interact with the scare actors, they'll interact with you and it's more of like you are now an observer to this horror scene. So I was like, are you all right? And she's like, no, I'm not all right. He's killing all my friends. I was like, you got to get out of here. And she's like, no, it's not going to make it. I was like, okay, I'm going to run. I'm leaving. And there's times where I walk into a room and I purposely do not look for the scare, right? I am looking everywhere else. I'm mainly focusing on the set designs itself, maybe a picture on the wall or something else that catches my eye as I'm walking through. I'm not looking for the scare. Boom! It'll get you. Like through the slasher, for instance. I'm not going to talk about the scene. But uh, there was something that I observed and I didn't know if it was real. So I went a little closer, you know, missing around, playing around. And uh, I was like, oh no, look at this. And a guy popped out of my right. And I didn't see him. I was like, oh! And I, I let him know. I was like, that was a good one, bro. This is why you got to pay attention in mazes. You don't get scared, don't pay attention in mazes, and I guarantee you, they will pop scare you. And one way to heighten your experience at Not Scary Farm is actually interact with the scare zone actors, and like in Carnival, and especially the Gauntlet this year. Now, the scare actors say some off-the-wall stuff. You go in the Goring 20s, they say some off-the-wall stuff. Like, I was walking through the Goring 20s, and one of the guys, <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention, went blah. And I was like, oh, I said, hey, I'm walking here. And he's like, Fedo Genie Alfredo. You know, and we started laughing, dude. It's, it's hilarious. You know, the clowns say some off the wall stuff. You know, I saw Teddy. I was like, Teddy. And he's like, he. His little laugh. But you know, and when you walk through these gear zones, I, I see a lot of people tending to just kind of walk through them instead of experiencing them you know the scare actor comes up and scares you and, uh, like last night uh, um they don't scare me but you know i just I go with the moment scare actor was walking in ghost town <clears throat> a new a, a new character to tell you it's, it's a rabbit and uh i was like oh dude that's new that's cool that's awesome and the rabbit came up this close to my face right i'm looking at him and he comes this close to my face and he's like you know, like, like you want to see me? You want to see how cool I look? And, and some people at this moment were like, okay, bro, you're too close to my face. Get away. It's over. And what I did was like, oh, man. Crash. Is the rabbit still there? And he, was, he started laughing. I was like, I think he's still there. But I'm too scared to look. He's still there, isn't he? And, and that's kind of little things. Just, you know, be in the moment. This is what you pay for. Uh, interact with the characters like in the gauntlet they'll say you know they're hungry or uh, you know a baby snatcher uh, they'll slide up to you i'm hungry mister so why are you so hungry you know more than likely they'll tell you you know the storyline of it and then you could probably go over to the king and be like hey king you know what i heard i heard that you're snatching babies well, you don't fall for that off with his head you know like stuff like that like in a maze me and my homeboys, uh, we were like, one more time, one more time, one more time. And the scare actor, 
uh, started getting the knife and stabbing, you know, the, the girl, and we're like, yeah! You know, stuff like that's fun. Get into it, dude. Just don't walk through there and be like, oh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You pay to get scared, so might as well act like you're scared, right? Even if you're not. Before we talk about the gauntlet, I will say stop and look at the new masks, dude, in Ghost Town. I was in awe. Actually, a monster got me good because I saw this new mask and I was like, oh, what is that? And I was so hyper-focused on looking at the details on the mask, I didn't see it coming from the front of me and all of a sudden I heard, Bleh! and he was this close to my face and I looked at him and I was like, that's what I get for not paying attention. And he's like, heh, 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 heh. So take your time and look at these new characters, dude. Amazing. But now let's talk about the gauntlet. If you don't want to know the storyline of the gauntlet or what I got from the gauntlet, click off now. So you have king and queen in charge of their kingdom. But it seems pretty wicked. When I walked in going toward Fiesta Village in the gauntlet, it seemed like that side was more ruled by the king and queen and the jester, you know, the, the more uppity upside. And as you went further through the gauntlet, it changed into poverty. And you saw these people walking up, Mister, Mister, I'm hungry, I need money. And you realize that Something isn't just right here. And uh, my, my homeboy was there and there was a kid and he's like, I'm hungry. I was like, look, there's a kid. And he goes, I'm not a baby snatcher. Over there's a baby snatcher. And so apparently the king and his court are baby snatchers. And I did see this monster. It looked like it did snatch a baby. So the gauntlet's gonna pop off this year, dude. I can only wait to see through all of Not Scary Farm, the story progress of the gauntlet, because I know my boys in Camp Snoopy are gonna pop off on that, because they did last night, dude. I'm telling you, Not Scary Farm, 50th anniversary, you're not gonna wanna miss this. I was giddy as a school kid, dude, going to a candy store, or a kid waking up on Christmas Day, I was like, eee. Well, if you have any questions, or you wanna know some more about Not Scary Farm, or what I experienced, what I saw, go ahead, comment down below uh, your questions, and I'll try to get back to you on that. Well, outside of that, guys, you have a great night. Thank you very much for watching, taking time out of your day. If you liked the video, give it a big like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the fog. Deuces. <laughs> And I am so grateful and would like to give a huge shout out to my boy Adrian for making last night possible, dude. You honestly don't know how much fun I had and how truly thankful I am for that opportunity, bro. You're amazing.